All right, so we're going on to uh, page 2-8 in the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. This will be uh, composite construction, the history. The use of composites in aircraft construction can be dated back to World War II aircraft when soft fiberglass insulation was used in B-29 fuselages. By the late 1950s, European high-performance sailplane manufacturers were using fiberglass as primary structures. In 1965, the FAA type certified the first all-fiberglass aircraft in the normal category, a Swiss sailplane called the Diamant HBV. Four years later, the FAA certified a four-seat single-engine Windecker Eagle in the normal category. By 2005, over 35% of new aircraft were constructed, constructed of composite material. Composite is a broad term and can mean materials such as fiberglass, carbon fiber cloth, Kevlar cloth, and mixtures of all of the above. Composite construction offers two advantages, extremely smooth skins and the ability to easily form complex and curved or streamlined structures. Composite materials in an aircraft. Composite materials are fiber reinforced matrix systems. The matrix is a glue used to hold the fiberglass. You hold, mm, matrix is the glue used to hold the fibers together and when cured, gives the part its shape. But the fibers carry most of the load. There are many different types of fibers and matrix systems. In aircraft, the most common matrix is epoxy resin, which is the type of uh, thermosetting plastic. Type of thermosetting plastic. Compared to other choices, such as polyester resin, epoxy is stronger and has good high temperature properties. There are many different types of epoxies available with a wide range of structural properties, cure times and temperatures and costs. The most common reinforcing fibers used in aircraft construction and fiberglass are carbon fiber. Fiberglass has good tensile and compressive strength, good impact resistance, is easy to work with, and is relatively inexpensive and readily available. Its main disadvantage is that it's relatively heavy and is difficult to make a fiberglass load carrying structure lighter than a well designed equivalent aluminum structure. Carbon fiber is generally stronger in tensile and compressive strength than fiberglass and has much higher bending stiffness. It is also considerably, considerably lighter than fiberglass. However, it is relatively poor in impact resistance. The fibers are brittle and tend to shatter upon sharp impact. This can be greatly improved with a toughened epoxy resin system as used in Boeing 787 horizontal and vertical stabilizers. Carbon fiber is more expensive than fiberglass, but the price has dropped due to innovations driven by the B2 program in the 1980s and Boeing 777 work in the 1990s. Very well designed carbon fiber structures can be significantly lighter than an equivalent aluminum structure, sometimes by 30% or so. Advantages of composites. Composite construction offers several advantages over metal, wood, or fabric with its lighter weight being the most frequently cited. Lighter weight is not always automatic. It, automatic. it must be remembered that building aircraft structure out of composites does not guarantee it will be lighter. It depends on the structure as well as the type of composite being used. A more important advantage is that a very smooth compound cured aerodynamic structure made from composites reduces drag. This is the main reason sailplane designers switched from metal and wood to composites in the 1960s. In aircraft, the use of composites reduces drags from for the Cirrus and Columbia line of production aircraft, leading to the high performance despite their fixed landing gear. Composites also help mask the radar signature of stealth aircraft designs, such as the B-2 and the F-22. Today, composites can be found in aircraft as varied as glider, gliders to most new helicopters. Lack of corrosion in the, is a third advantage of composites. Boeing is designing the 787 with its all composite fuselage to have both a higher pressure differential and higher humidity in the cabin than previous airliners. Engineers are no longer as concerned about corrosion from moisture condensation on the hidden areas of the fuselage skin such as behind insulation blankets. This should lead to lower long-term maintenance costs for the airlines. Another advantage of composites is their good performance in flexing environment such as in a helicopter rotor blades. Composites do not suffer from the metal fatigue and crack growth as do metals. While it takes careful engineering, composite rotor blades can have considerably higher design lives than metal blades. And most new large helicopter designs have all composite blades and in many cases composite rotor hubs. 
disadvantages of composites. Composite construction comes with its own set of disadvantages, the most important of which is the lack of visual proof of damage. Composites respond differently from other structure of materials to impact, and there is often no obvious sign of damage. For example, if a car backs into an aluminum fuselage, it might dent the fuselage. If the fuselage is not dented, there is no damage. If the fuselage is dented, the damage is visible and repairs are made. Hmm. In a composite structure, a low energy impact such as a bump or a tool drop may not leave any visible sign on the impact on the surface. Underneath the impact site, there may be extensive de delaminations spreading in a cone-shaped area around the impact location. The damage on the back side of the structure can be significant and extensive, but it may be hidden from view. Anytime one has reason to think, Reason to think there may have been an impact, even a minor one, it is best to get an inspector familiar with composites to examine the structure to determine underlying damage. The appearance of whitish areas in a fiberglass structure is a good tip off that uh, delaminations of fiber fracture has occurred. A medium energy impact, perhaps the car backing into the structure, results in a local crushing of the surface, which should be visible to the eye. The damage area is larger than the visible crushed area and will need to be repaired. A high energy impact such as a bird strike or hail while in flight results in a puncture and severely damaged structure. In medium and high energy impacts, the damage is visible to the eye, but low energy impacts is difficult to detect. If, if an impact results in delaminations, crushing of the surface, or a puncture, the repair is mandatory. While waiting for the repair, the damage area should be covered and protected from the rain. Many composite parts are composed of thin skins over a honeycomb core, creating a sandwich structure. While excellent for structural stiffness reasons, such a structure is an easy target for water ingress entering, leading to further problems later. A piece of speed tape over the puncture is a good way to protect it from water, but is not a structural repair. This use of uh, paste filler the use of paste filler to cover up the damage, while acceptable for cosmetic purposes, is not a structural repair either. The potential for heat damage to the resin is another disadvantage of using composites. While too hot depends on the particular, particular resin system chosen, many epoxies begin to weaken over 150 degrees Fahrenheit. White paint on composites is often used to minimize this issue. For example, the bottom of the wing that is painted black Facing a black asphalt ramp on a hot, sunny day could get as hot as 220 degrees Fahrenheit. The same structure painted white rarely exceeds 150 degrees Fahrenheit. As a result, composite airplanes often have specific recommendations on allowable paint colors. If the airplane is repainted, these recommendations must be followed. Heat damage can also occur due to a fire. Even a quickly extinguished small brake fire can damage bottom wing skins, composite landing gear legs, or wheel pants. Also, chemical paint strippers are very harmful to composites and must not be used on them. If paint needs to be removed from composites, only mechanical methods are allowed, such as gentle grit blasting or sanding. Many expensive composite parts have been ruined by the use of paint stripper and such damage is generally not repairable. Hmm. We'll stop there. That's on a 2-10. That's going over advantages and disadvantages of composites.